Welcome back to San Clemente, California. You're watching the Swatch Women's Pro. We're into round one, heat number four of the day. We've had some very heavy results go down already this morning when she survives the heat, especially against someone that's given her some tough heats this year in Tyler Wright and in Bethany Hamilton. We're going to move on quickly because we got a first wave for heat four. A big backside attempt off the top and Laura Enver goes down. Just feeling out the lineup. We've seen these lefts come into play, which is kind of fun for us to see these surfers put together a left from start to finish. Overall performance when you're on your backside attack. Quarterfinals, maybe even earlier. We've been seeing those matchups come to the quarters really early, and Gilmore's been haunted by that heat in the contest so far. Now she's free to roam, acting like a spoiler in this world title race. As we see Laura Enover dig in on the lower's left, clean snap through the lip. She'll go down on that inside corner. She's the only one moving so far. She fell on her first turn. And that's her second scoring ride. Cordy and Chelsea still trying to establish priority. And now world number two is going to check out a left-hand opportunity, which opens it up for Chelsea Tuok to take the rest of the right. A big backside smash for Conlog. She'll try to force the finish, and she'll pull that one off. Chelsea Tuok turning around at the last minute, getting this little inside bonus section. The rookie from Barbados has this wave bending away out to sea, so loses the finishing move, and finally all surfers have scores on the board. Tell you what, Chelsea couldn't believe her luck. I thought Courtney was going to go right and then decided at the last minute to go. You can see Courtney, last minute decision, tight snap in the pocket, she drives off the bottom, and right there just absolutely belts that last section. So it wasn't a long wave, but two solid turns. It's exactly what Tatiana said. Two big backside snaps will be enough to win heats. This was Chelsea on the right-hander. Didn't quite connect with that first turn. And this is probably why, because you can see how fat that wave goes, sort of a lot flatter, sort of more transition turns rather than those big vertical snaps is what you're looking for. But Chelsea on the board nonetheless, so it's a good opener for her. Chelsea Tuog paying off. So now the numbers drifting in. Laura had the one, then a 2.5 as she's been looking at the lowers lap. Tuog a 3.17. Laura quickly up and out. More waves on the way. Further down the line, the rookie, Chelsea Tuok, on her way back out. Will end up going down on her forehand. And Conlog holds her position as Laura will take off under her priority. Floats it, picks up some speed. She's got an open face down. The front side wrap, and Laura finds a finishing move. Ends up losing it into the white water, so not getting too much out of the lowers right there, Potts. Yeah, that was a frustrating wave right there for, for Laura. Sort of stuck in between maneuvers. Scores dropping for Courtney's first wave, Joe. Conlog opting to go left to get more of a wall. Shorter ride, but she knew she could get a big maneuver off. It's a 6-6-7. Local knowledge pays off. And this was Laura's last. Yeah, what's happening today is you can see the rights are kind of running away. Um, from the competitors it's not really standing up nice and vertical you can see it's more just transition turns right she's trying to throw away a 1.0 which she's going to do but it's still going to be uh, an average score there it is 3.5 so 3.5 for laura anniver she's improving on her numbers still chasing courtney conlog out front conlog going left getting the 667 a few of those go down during this week at lower trestles during the break pots we saw laura kick out of a right with some open face was the rookie Chelsea Tua. Yeah, Chelsea's kind of finally realized those right handers a little fat. Go on to her backhand there, three solid turns. Can she finish this one off? She's on her way to a good score here, Joe. She needs it. She's got to get herself back in this heat somehow. She only needs a 3.51. Why? Because uh, Courtney's only got one wave under her belt at 6.67. So it looks like we're going to get a bit of a lead change here. There it is. Chelsea Tuok of 5.17 gets her in the lead over Conlog and Laura Andover. As we know, Chelsea is focused on qualification for next season. Compete you know, at a high level in all those kind of conditions. So, see some paddling now. Here we go. Having a look. Going left, the Australian Laura Andover for North Narrabeen. 
The former World Junior Champ exploding off the lift. Beautiful backhand carve. Probably her best wave so far, and it's still giving her some sections to work with. You can tell Laura a little bit more fired up on that last performance. Needs a 4.85. Laura, the like world number one, Tyler Wright, part of the Micro Surf Academy. Aggression on this last wave, Potts. Yeah, well, we talk about North Narrow being it's a left hander. Laura Enova looking comfortable. Watch this turn right here. Beautiful snap. Gets that board all the way back around and again. So three solid turns. Now she needs to finish it off. She comes through that inside. Very important to show the judges that. Amazing scenario unfolding in the world title showdown. Member Tyler Wright has to deal with round two. Looks like Laura Enover wants to get one back for the Australian. Laura gets a 7.57 on wow. her last left. The best wave of the heat so far. Goes all the way to first. Is that the wave of the day? Easily. What a great performance. And then we see Tuok down to second. Sure last the 5.17. So Conlog drops to third. She's very familiar with where to sit on the right and the left. And during the recap, we saw Chelsea Tuak go down. Right. And Laura once again on the left. Well, that was a bit of a mistake there from Chelsea, using her priority. Laura Enova on the way back out, deciding to uh, use this left again. So Laura trying to replace the 3.50, her second highest scoring ride. She knows it's not enough to keep Courtney Conlog at bay. So she's looking to improve on that. She may only just on that occasion, there it is, a 3.67. Big sets coming through out the back. Courtney Conlog in prime position. She's got to go, Joe. Only needs a 4.58 to get into the lead. First snap, nice and solid. Drives down the line and rips one off the top again. See that little texture on the open face from that wind starting to pick up. She's had plenty of time to lay down some tracks on this one. Not needing a whole lot. 4.58. Moves things around. Now Tuok looking for a 6.08 here. Nice, cool rhythm to watch. Kept her rail in the water. Found herself a finishing move. And now two important scores coming into the two-minute mark. Very important scores. Courtney Conlock showing so much power. Laura Enova left out the back. She knows she needs another good score, that's for sure. Courtney Conlock, you can see the intensity that she brings. 4.58 required. I'll tell you what, that wave wasn't one of the best waves, but she tore it to pieces. Showed a lot of power. Laura now has been loving this left. Hard off the bottom, solid backside snap. Comes around the corner, drills it again off the top. Blasting it off the lip again. And Laura sits down on the inside. Just seeing her go left, you're just reminded of how famous her backhand is from winning, like you said, at North Narrabeen. It was all in performance maneuvers. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about performance right here with Courtney Conlog. See how much power she brings. She's just jamming that board, throwing a lot of spray right there as well. So Courtney Conlog, heavy back foot. Got a good little board under her feet right now. She's needing a 4.58. Judges are still deliberating, probably having a look at this wave yet again just to make sure. As you said, Joe, very, very important scores. And then Chelsea right behind her. Chelsea needing 6.08. A nice little turns right there. You can see the amount of spray that Courtney throws compared to her opponents. And there it is. We have a lead change. This is Laura Enova's last ride as well. Laura needing a 4.03. Why? Because Courtney dropped a 4.93 and put herself up into the lead. Laura Enova answers right back. We've got seconds remaining on the clock, Joe. Waiting for the score to lock in. Judges having another look at the score from Chelsea Tuark. Couple of nice turns right there. This is a close heat. The judges call the next heat on hold as they await the decision. Conlogs last the 4-9-3. Laura Enova trying to send world number two into the second round. Remember she had the 7.57 before, now it's a 6.4 for Laura Enover, back to first on her last wave. Tuok was left chasing an 8.8, .8, and she's gonna need a little bit more than that last one as it looks like Laura Enover makes it official, sends Courtney into round two, and now we're thinking about how heavy this opening day might be. Tyler Wright, world number one. Courtney Conlog, number two. 
dealing with a sudden death round on the first day of the contest. You know what, that theme of uh, everything being turned upside down continues this year to the top surfers in round two. Wow.